Hey guys, in a previous video, we saw how we could use Google Sheets and Google Forms to create an attendance system which uses QR codes. In this video, we're going to answer some of the most common questions that came up from all the feedback and comments, and also just improve our general spreadsheet abilities with some tips and tricks. So let's get straight into it. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the most frequent questions that came up in the previous video. Things like uh, why a QR code won't show, why the uh, QR link will take us to the view form instead of the form responses page. And then from there, we're going to get into a little bit more coding to see how we can automate this process for you a little bit faster so that uh, you don't have to do as much work, which is very useful for those of you that have like 100 to 1000 students to take care of. From there, we might have to split this video into two videos and uh, then we can see how we can filter based on either student or date and then um, create a sign in sign out uh, system. Let's dive right in. So as you can see, I have here the original document that I made in that QR video. Um, on the left hand side, I've got the names then their full name by, um, by combining them together. Um, we used an array formula in that video, so we'll be doing that again for the um, these two columns as well. And we see we have all of the QR uh, codes. In the previous video, for some reason, this fourth one didn't um, didn't work. The the fourth one just wasn't there. Uh, it was probably just time that it hadn't had enough time to 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 load. So uh, if a QR code does not load, then maybe it's just time. Um, maybe try rewriting the code again. And if you could, uh, we already have QR codes here, so we can control C to copy them and then control shift V to paste them in place. And you'll see the formulas are gone. There's no formulas here. So these are just static images. They won't change now. So that means that your Google sheet won't be using as much uh, memory on the computer. So if you type in a new uh, formula, then it should work. Let's just take a look at Tommy's QR code. We see we have the formula here, but the uh, QR code isn't showing. Now the most common reason for this is because there's spaces either within, before, or after the student's name. So this QR code is taking a look at D4, which is this link here. If we expand this link open, we can see that all of these QR codes, or all of these links, sorry, are exactly the same. The last one there is a different one because um, I was using that for an example, for the view form example. All of these are the same except for the names at the end. All of the same numbers, entry, form response, things like that. This here is the, um, the form ID. So um, why is it that this is not showing a um, QR code when all of the others are? Super simple. If we take a, a look at Tommy's here, we can see that there's a space after Tommy's name. So we just need to get rid of that space. So we scroll back, we click on Tommy's name. It doesn't look like there's a space there, but if we press F2 on the keyboard, we can see that the cursor shows a space after the Y in Tommy's name. So we'll just backspace that and press enter. We scroll across and we can see the QR code has returned. Now, another way we can do this um, just to, to make things a little bit easier for us, <clears throat> excuse me, is um, when we get to this, um, let's just shrink this down a little bit, this code here, instead of doing A2 plus B2, we can just like before use an array formula. Array formula, all of that stuff, uh, but I only want it to create a formula if there is something in this A2 cell. So I'm going to write if A2 to A using the colon button equals nothing, that's two quotation marks, then two commas. That means if this or any of these have a blank in it, that's what this is, blank, then return nothing. Otherwise, return this link. And this link isn't quite completed. Just get rid of that. Because we need to say for uh, A2, that's this one here, to A, to, to A, just A, so that's the entire column, and a plus, 
and B2 to B. And we'll close off those, uh, those brackets, press enter and we'll see reference formula. That reference formula occurs because we have all of these links. So if we just click on all of these, hold shift and then click the bottom one and press delete, then they all pop up. We can see the names here, Angelica Pickles, Angelica Plus Pickles. And now we don't have to see the formulas. So we can see all of the, um, the links directly in this formula. Um, what is this thing called? Formula bar, I guess. Okay, um, the second thing we can do is if we do have spaces here, like Tommy's name here, we have a space and that gets rid of the QR code, we can actually change this array formula, so one in D2, and use a trim formula. And that way it gets rid of any spaces just like we see here. Oh, we need a trim here as well, and we're done. Okay, so just to recap on what we did, if there's a space anywhere in the names, then our options are, first off, get rid of the spaces, uh, and secondly, use a trim formula. We also saw that we used an array formula, keeping in mind if we, uh, keeping in mind we need this if statement at the beginning, otherwise we'll end up with like a thousand empty rows, and we don't want that. We can also use an array formula for the um, QR codes. So you see, I created the, the uh, QR code for the top one and then copied them all down. Another way we could do that is type in again, array formula. And again, we want to make sure that we have an if statement. This time, I'm going to say if D2 to D equals nothing, then return nothing. That's saying if there is nothing in this column, like down here, then we're going to return nothing. Otherwise, if there is something in here, then we'll return the image, the chart, the QR code. We need to make sure that we finish off this last one, D2 to D. Well, again, we'll get a reference formula, a reference error, because um, we have all of these formulas here. So we just need to delete them. And then the QR codes are now fixed in place. Even if we try to press the delete button, it just reappears. We cannot lose them. They're stuck there. Except for the first one. Delete that. You delete the whole lot. That's about it for why a QR code is not showing. The next thing I want to show you, what happens if you scan it and you end up going to the view form instead of the response page. Now up here in this, um, in this formula, this formula is very important that you get it right. I see a lot of people putting question marks in the wrong place like that, and that just doesn't work. Or perhaps they have um, the, the view form was actually the, the cause of the issue. So let's open up the, the form. So we got to here. A lot of people have used this, it looks like. I haven't been in this for a long time, but a lot of people have been using this as a tester, so that's good to see. Um, if we go to, now where was it? It was the three dots and the get pre-filled link, and we choose Chucky Finster, and then we scroll down and press get link. That'll be copied. We come back to our QR code, and let's go with, I don't know. Well, let's go with Chucky, why not? Um, actually, let's paste it over here just so that I can get these parts. Was that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay, so this time when we scan this, or I'm just going to click it, it'll take us to Chucky's automatically um, selected um, Google form. If we click on Susie one, Susie's one, it'll give us Susie's form and so on. We can do this for all of them in order to give us the correct name that we click on. So that's not good because we don't actually want to go to that view form page, but um, I see a lot of people putting in the wrong bits here. So make sure you change the view form to form response. And I, again, I'm still not good at spelling response. Form response, not good at spelling anything today. 
Um, and then we click on that and we see it works. Hey guys, editor here. So I knew something was wrong here and uh, I had a look back at the previous video and what went wrong. Um, you can see my face down there, where whichever side it's on, uh, how confused I am. Uh, in the previous video, we saw that we also had to get rid of the USP equals PP underscore URL and part. Uh, in this video, it, uh, I tested it out a few times and it looks like we don't need to get rid of that. We can just change anyway, the view form works, so to- I'm happy. Uh, let's click on another one and it takes us to the uh, form response. So make sure you do update that correctly. Um, some of the people that have been getting in contact haven't got that right. So all we need to do is that. So uh, that's all we need for going to the view form page instead of the form response. If it still does take you to form response page, then you can always get in touch and I'll take a look at your code. Um, but also just give it a moment because it does sometimes take a little bit to load from one page to another. So if it doesn't work, just close it down. Don't close the Google Sheet, leave it open and, um, and let it load for a bit and then come back in a couple of minutes. And uh, we've also seen how to copy down with array formulas. So that's pretty much all we've got for this video. Make sure to join us for the next videos where we explore how to filter the data and also how to create a sign in, sign out system. See you there.